During the 1960s, Reading High was blessed with many talented three-sport athletes who made up some of the best teams ever produced at RMHS. Tom Kelly, RMHS class of 1965, was one of those special talents. A two-sport captain in football and basketball and a three-year starter in baseball, Tom combined abundant skills on the field as well as the classroom, where he achieved National Honor Society status during his three years at Reading High. The older brother of Hall of Famer Bill Kelly, Tom set a great example for his younger sibling. The winner of eight varsity letters while at RMHS, Kelly's career began as a sophomore on the 1962 football team as a backup quarterback. During the winter, the sophomore would become a starter on the 1962-63 basketball team and play in 17 games, averaging four points per game, while playing with two talented upperclassmen, Paul Romano and Bob Beeman. In the spring, it was onto the baseball diamond under then head coach John Pacino, and it was here Kelly would begin to show his prowess in a sport that was traditionally one of Redding's strongest. The 1963 baseball team was young, with a few sophomores seeing playing time. And while the team struggled a bit, the young players matured with Kelly shining at second base and finishing third in a hitting on the team with 14 hits on the season, including three doubles and a triple. As the 1963 football season dawned for head coach John Hollingsworth and his somewhat inexperienced Rockets, one thing he took comfort in was the leadership and the talent he had at quarterback with Tom Kelly. Kelly would have a very solid junior campaign, but the Rockets as a team were still developing. On a team which did not throw the ball often, Kelly had some of the highlight plays of the season with his arm. Throwing for six touchdowns that season, including long throws of 59 and 71 yards, he also contributed to the scoring with his legs as he picked up solid yardage all season. In the 1963-64 basketball season, Kelly would up his scoring average to 9.2 points per game, including 10 games in double figures, and help the 13 and 7 Rockets qualify for the Class B tourney. His points per game would be third on the team. Unfortunately, the 13 and 7 Rockets lost a preliminary game at the buzzer to a talented Jamaica playing team to end their season. The 1964 baseball team had enough talent to qualify for the Class A tournament with a second place finish behind Concord in the Middlesex League. Playing second base and batting in his familiar number two spot in the lineup, Kelly had a great season, finishing with a batting average of 422. And in the ear of wooden bats only, this was an outstanding accomplishment. The baseball Rockets also lost a heartbreaker in the first round with a loss to Weymouth, 3-2 in 10 innings. As his senior year began, Kelly was looking forward to the football season as the Rockets had a good group of returning veterans mixed with a highly touted class of sophomores, including his brother Bill. Unfortunately, in a preseason tilt, Tom injured his leg and would sit out the first three games, and the Rockets would drop two of those three, including a key contest to eventual champ Belmont. Even though he was still hobbled by what would later be diagnosed as a torn ACL, Keller returned to lead Reading to a 34-8 win over Concord. In a 7-6 loss to non-league Marlboro, the four-time defending Class C champs, he would throw for over 200 yards and nearly led the Rockets to upset win. As he regained his form, Kelly would lead Reading to four more Middlesex League wins and an eventual second-place finish. His three touchdown passes and a Thanksgiving game win over rival Stoneham would mark the first time a Reading High quarterback had thrown for three touchdowns in a game. After the season, Kelly received the highest honor for a Rocket football player with a selection as the winner of the Henry Ingersoll Award, and he was also named to the Middlesex League All-Star Team. Legendary coach and Hall of Famer John Hollingsworth would describe Kelly as a born leader and inspiration to others he played with. As a returning captain, leading scorer, and third-year starter on the basketball team, Kelly was poised to lead the Rockets, but once again he suffered a leg injury. This time in the third game, and even though he attempted to return, it was determined shutting him down for the season was the best course of action to take. And without their leader, the Rockets struggled and had what was a down year for the usually successful program. By the spring, he was back on the baseball diamond for his third year as a starting second baseman. 
This Rocket team was one of the more talented squads in school history as they rolled to a Middlesex League title and made a deep run in the state tournament. The Rockets overcame their opening round jinx as they started the Class A tourney against Newton and defeated the Tigers 2-1 at Birch Meadow. Newton South was next and Reading won 8-6 in 10 innings. Playing in the Eastern Mass semifinal against Malden Catholic, Kelly would have two home runs to help spark the team to a 14-1 route. And then the Eastern Mass final played in front of an estimated 2,500 fans, the Rockets would battle defending state champ Somerville tooth and nail before Somerville played two late runs in the eighth inning to overcome a one-run Reading lead to take the game 6-5. The Highlanders would later go on to win their fifth state title and second in a row. After the difficult ending to the season, Kelly was named to the Boston Globe All-Scholastic team. His 404 batting average, including six doubles, three triples, and two home runs, was second on what was likely one of the most talented All-Scholastic groups ever. Kelly was chosen as a Middlesex League All-Star, as well as Boston Record American Hearst All-Star, and played at Fenway Park with other talented high school stars from around New England. He would play an outstanding game that day, banging out two hits in the home of the Red Sox. Following Reading High, Tom would move on to Amherst College, where he would become a four-year letter winner and captain of both the basketball and baseball teams. At one point during his baseball career at Amherst, he would own a school record, longest consecutive hitting streak at 23 games in a row. As he graduated from Amherst, Kelly was awarded the prestigious Hitchcock Fellowship given to a top student athlete so that he could continue his postgraduate studies while doing some coaching at the University of Massachusetts Amherst. After getting his master's degree in English at UMass, he got his doctorate in curriculum and instruction from the University of Wisconsin. Today, Dr. Kelly is a professor at John Carroll University in University Heights, Ohio. So it is with great pride we welcome Tom Kelly into the Athletic Hall of Fame of the class of 2017.